Are you prepared for the inevitable rush? When crisis strikes, what foods will vanish first from store shelves? Hey there, fellow preppers. You know as well as I do that when a crisis hits, it's a whole different ball game at the grocery store. Shelves start looking bare, and it's those essential items that disappear first. I've seen it time and time again, and I bet you have too. It's crucial to be ahead of the game and know exactly what to stock up on before everyone else catches on. Let's talk about the 12 foods that are always the first to go when things get dicey. These are the items you want to have plenty of in your pantry. We're not just talking about your basic canned beans and rice here. There are some items on this list that might surprise you, but trust me, they're the first to vanish when people start to panic. Number 12. Canned Vegetables Canned vegetables are a staple in emergency food storage due to their long shelf life and nutritional value. They provide essential vitamins and minerals, helping to maintain a balanced diet when fresh produce might not be available. Varieties like green beans, corn, peas, carrots, and tomatoes are commonly stocked. For a three-month supply, aim to have about 30-40 cans per person. This estimate can vary based on dietary preferences and the presence of other food sources. Canned vegetables are incredibly versatile. They can be eaten straight from the can, added to soups and stews mixed with pasta, or included in casseroles. They can also be used to enhance the nutritional value of instant noodles or ramen, as mentioned earlier. To add more flavor, consider sauteing them with herbs and spices. Number 11. Canned meat and fish. Canned meats and fish, such as chicken, tuna, salmon, and even spam, are excellent protein sources that don't require refrigeration. They are crucial for maintaining muscle health and overall energy levels during a crisis. For a three-month period, storing approximately 20-30 cans per person is advisable, depending on your regular diet and protein needs. These canned proteins are not only convenient, but also versatile. They can be used in sandwiches, salads, pasta dishes, or mixed with rice. Tuna or chicken can be made into a quick salad with mayonnaise and added to crackers or bread. Canned salmon can be used for patties or mixed into a pasta sauce. Number 10. Dried Beans and Lentils Dried beans and lentils are excellent sources of plant-based protein and fiber, making them a valuable addition to any emergency food supply. They have a very long shelf life when stored properly and are relatively inexpensive. For a three-month supply, consider storing about 20 to 30 pounds per person. This amount can vary based on dietary preferences and reliance on plant-based proteins. Beans and lentils can be used in a variety of dishes. They are great for making hearty soups, stews, and chili. They can also be added to rice for a complete protein meal or used in salads for extra nutrition. Lentils cook faster and can be a quick base for a meal, especially when mixed with canned vegetables and spices. Number 9. Rice Rice is a fundamental food item in crisis situations due to its long shelf life, ease of storage, and versatility. It's a great source of energy and can be a base for many meals. A good storage amount is about 20-30 pounds per person for three months, though this can vary based on dietary habits and what other grains or carbohydrates you have stored. Rice can be used in a multitude of ways. It's perfect as a side dish or a main meal, when combined with beans, lentils, canned meats, or vegetables. It can also be used to make rice pudding for a sweet treat or breakfast. In addition, rice can be a filler in soups and stews to make them more substantial. Number eight, pasta. Pasta is another essential emergency food due to its long shelf life and ease of preparation. It's a good source of carbohydrates and energy, and it's also popular with all age groups. For a three-month supply, aim for about 20-25 pounds per person. This amount can be adjusted based on your regular consumption and the variety of other foods you have stored. Pasta can be used in a wide range of dishes, from simple pasta with sauce to more elaborate casseroles or pasta salads. It pairs well with canned vegetables, meats, and cheeses. You can also use it in soups to make them heartier or create a cold pasta salad with various canned veggies and a vinaigrette. Number seven, powdered milk. Powdered milk is an essential item in emergency food storage because it provides a source of calcium and vitamin D when fresh milk isn't available. It has a much longer shelf life than liquid milk and takes up less space. For a three-month supply, consider storing about six to 10 pounds per person. 
This amount can be adjusted based on how much milk you typically consume and whether you have young children or others with higher calcium needs. Powdered milk can be reconstituted with water and used just like regular milk in cereal for drinking or in cooking and baking. It's also useful for making homemade yogurt or as a creamer for coffee and tea. Number six, instant oatmeal or rolled oats. Oatmeal is a nutritious and filling option that's perfect for breakfast or as a snack. It's rich in fiber and can provide sustained energy. Instant oatmeal is convenient because it cooks quickly, but rolled oats are also a good option as they have a longer shelf life. For a three month supply, aim for about 15, 20 pounds per person. This can vary based on your breakfast habits and preferences for other grains. Oatmeal can be prepared simply with water or milk and sweetened with sugar, honey, or syrup. It can also be enhanced with dried fruits, nuts, or seeds. Additionally, oats can be used in baking to make bread, cookies, or granola bars. Number five, honey and syrups. Honey and syrups, like maple syrup, are valuable in a crisis due to their indefinite shelf life and versatility. They are natural sweeteners that can make other emergency foods more palatable. For a three month supply, consider storing about three to five pounds per person. This amount can be adjusted based on your sweetening needs and preferences. These sweeteners can be used in tea or coffee as a topping for oatmeal or pancakes and in baking. Honey also has medicinal properties and can be used as a natural remedy for sore throats or coughs. Number four, salt, sugar, and spices. Salt, sugar, and a variety of spices are crucial for making emergency food supplies more enjoyable and palatable. They can help transform bland foods into tasty meals. For a three month supply, store about five pounds of salt and sugar each per person and a well-rounded selection of your most used spices. These seasonings are essential for cooking and baking. Salt is necessary for body electrolyte balance, while sugar can provide quick energy. Spices allow for culinary variety, which can be a morale booster in stressful times. Number three, bottled water. Water is the most critical resource in any emergency situation. It's necessary for drinking, cooking, and basic hygiene. The general recommendation is to store at least one gallon of water per person per day. For a three month supply, this means about 90 gallons per person. However, if space is a constraint, store as much as you can and consider water purification methods as a backup. Bottled water is convenient, but you can also store tap water in clean food grade containers. Remember to rotate your water supply every six months to a year to maintain freshness. Number two, emergency meal kits. Emergency meal kits are a vital component of any preparedness plan. Typically, these kits contain freeze-dried or dehydrated foods, which have a long shelf life, making them ideal for long-term storage. The process of freeze-drying or dehydrating food removes moisture, which is a key factor in the spoilage of fresh food. This means these meals can be stored for years without losing their nutritional value or taste. When planning for a three-month supply, it's important to consider the number of people and their daily caloric needs. A standard approach is to plan for at least two meals per day per person. However, this may vary depending on individual dietary needs and activity levels. Each kit usually specifies the number of servings it contains, which can help in calculating the total amount needed for the duration. The convenience of these kits is a significant advantage. In emergency situations, access to cooking facilities and fresh ingredients can be limited. Emergency meal kits only require the addition of water, which can be boiled for hot meals, or added at room temperature. This simplicity is crucial in stressful or resource-limited situations. Moreover, these kits often come with a variety of meal options. This variety is not just important for palate satisfaction, but also for ensuring a range of nutrients, from breakfast options like oatmeal and granola to dinners like pasta or stew. These kits strive to provide a semblance of normalcy and comfort through diverse food choices. Number one, prescription medications and vitamins. In any emergency kit, while food and water are critical, maintaining health through proper medication and supplements is equally important. 
Prescription medications are essential for individuals with chronic conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, or asthma. In a crisis, the lack of access to these medications can lead to serious health complications. For a three-month emergency supply, it's crucial to consult with healthcare providers. They can help in obtaining a sufficient quantity of prescription medications, considering the regulations and guidelines for prescription drugs. This might involve special requests or paperwork, especially for medications that are typically restricted or controlled. In addition to prescription medications, a well-rounded supply of vitamins and supplements can play a key role. Even the best emergency food kits may not cover all nutritional needs, especially if dietary restrictions are present. A good multivitamin can help bridge nutritional gaps. Additionally, specific supplements like vitamin D, calcium, or omega-3 fatty acids might be necessary depending on individual health needs and dietary limitations. These health-related supplies are crucial for maintaining well-being in challenging times. They ensure that existing health conditions are managed effectively and that new health issues do not arise due to nutritional deficiencies. This is particularly important in situations where access to a balanced diet and medical services is limited. By prioritizing medications and vitamins in emergency planning, individuals can safeguard their health against the added risks posed by emergency situations. And there you have it, fellow preppers, our comprehensive list of the top 12 items to stockpile for any crisis. But remember, being prepared isn't just about what you have in your pantry. It's also about staying connected and informed. That's where our channel comes in. Before you go, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join our community of savvy preppers to stay updated on all the latest tips and tricks for crisis preparation. And don't forget to like this video. It, it really helps us out. We're also eager to hear from you. Comment below with the foods you're stockpiling. What's in your emergency pantry? Any unique or surprising items? Sharing your insights not only contributes to our community, but also gives you a chance to learn from fellow preppers. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, preparation today can make a world of difference tomorrow. Stay safe, stay prepared, and we'll see you in the next video.